Hello, welcome to sallyjacks.com. Um, a couple of things that I always get asked about is tips on fashion, of course, beauty, doing your, doing your makeup, and also doing your hair. Now, if you look at my hair now, you probably think, oh, what a mess, Sally. This is exactly how I've got out of bed. Obviously, not with the top and the necklace and the makeup, but my hair is exactly how I've got out of bed. So if I want one of those really easy days, or it is incredibly hot over the summer, or I'm thinking about maybe having this around the pool, this is a really quick and simple way to be able to do your hair. Uh, there's a couple of things that you need, that's all. I use the Batiste uh, dry shampoo, I absolutely rave about that one. If you are going on holiday, you can get travel size. And another thing I am just to die for is Elmet uh, shampoo, and I will never be without it. A lot of people, when they can smell this, <laughs> they know that I've been around, especially when I've worked in the TV studios. So, right, let me show you what else you need. You will need a donut, but the, this needs to match your hair. So, I've got three different sizes here and I'm going to use the middle one today. You can buy these from practically anywhere. You can get them from uh, places like Sally's. You can also get them from uh, Claire's Accessories. And I'm, I'm absolutely positive that some of the really well-known high street stores do them as well. If not, you can use a sock. And what you do is you, you cut off the toes and then you roll it into itself and then place it where you need to, which I'm going to show you in a moment. What you also need is either some um, grips like this or I tend to use these grips which are a little bit wider. You also need an elastic band and also you need your back combing brush. This is the one that I absolutely swear by and you can get these from a lot of places as well, um, especially boots, which is where mine came from. So let's get on with it. So my hair is exactly how I've got out of bed. Um, I've just quickly, very quickly brushed through it. So I take the dry shampoo and I'm gonna show you how you can do this in minutes. And then I'm just going to back comb it because you want it the dirtier the better. I know that sounds really, really gross. The dirtier the better. So you want your hair to be the day after or the day after the day after. Um, you don't want it on the day that you've washed it because it never stays as well. So here we go. So I've done a little bit at the front. You can also, if you wanted to, if you've got thinner hair, just slightly tease it at the sides as well. But you get right in at the roots. And on the top again. And then I'm going to give that a spritz with my trusted Elnet. Excuse the timing. And then I'm going to grab it. Now, if you want it really scruffy, you can. I tend to just comb it up the back very quick. Just to make sure that everything's fine. And then... I always leave, some people like to scrape it right back off their forehead, but quite frankly I look like the biggest slaphead on the planet, so I don't do that. So I grab my elastic band and I only tie it around a couple of times. Now you can see I've done that quite scruffily and I quite like that. If you use the bigger ones and you haven't got thick hair, then a little tip is to actually pop um, your false hair bits in with your ponytail um, and that really does work. Those I tend to use on if I'm going on our nights out for, but during the day I use a smaller one. So I take my hand, slip it through, make sure you get this, the colour that matches your hair. You can also, I think you can pick them up in Primark and then I back comb all of this and then I quickly go over it. See how quick this is? Trusted hairspray again, spray on the top and then all you do is you tuck it right under the donut like so and like I say you can do it as neat or as scruffy as you like I'm just showing you very 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 quickly so this could be something that I would do by the pool or on a night out and as you can see then you take your grips grip it in and make sure you grip the donut itself that's what's so good about the donut and not the socks because the donuts you can actually grip into. And then I take a couple of grips, flip it around like so. And that is, excuse me for the clanging, I will get that sorted. <laughs> I like li little bits of hair hanging down as well. And then just smooth it up if you wanted to, if you wanted to have it a little bit um, sort of baggier or, or scruffier, you can 
pop your grips in and voila that's your bun it's so simple it's so quick and it's so easy to do if i just spin around you can see the back i'm just hoping i've got everything in at the back but you can see you can make it scruffy or you can make it tighter another tip as well is flowers are all in this season as you can see i've got a floral necklace on you can pop flowers around the bum here or in the middle also plaits are very in as well you can buy those braided plaits so you could pop one of those around there as well if you wanted to so that's my simple solution of making a bun. I hope you enjoy. It's sallyjacks.com.